In part one, we spoke to Simon Vecker, who believes AI might hold the key to unlocking human emotions to produce the next great works of art. Today, we'll be joined by Ross Goodwin, another artist who has some of his own thoughts on the future of AI augmented art. Greetings! Hey. Welcome to my art and technology spaceship. <laughs> Glad to be aboard. You appeared in season one before I existed in this show, and you talked about Sunspring, the first film ever written by AI. What has changed since you last became part of the art and technology fam? Oh, wow, so much. As someone who works with text and what's called natural language processing and more like generating text with machines, it's just gotten a lot better across the board. Before, the text was choppy and surreal in ways. Toast empty in the midst of black seas of infinity and it was never born. I felt like lying down by the waters. Now it's quite close to something a human could write. The road is dark and it grows into the sky. A tree in the distance was more and more still which allows for people like Simon to make uh, entire plays that way. It creates so much richer possibilities for interaction. So Ross, I have a question to you. Do you think like in the future we will have AI generated music in the charts? Like imagine you have a song that's uh, running on the first place for you know, weeks and afterwards it comes out that's actually this tune was generated by AI. <laughs> I think that's part of the wonderful thing about this whole field is we really don't know how it's going to evolve because it is a mirror and it's this crazy funhouse mirror that takes in everything we throw at it and gives us back its own representation that's mediated by the algorithms that control it. So Simon, how do I actually collaborate with AI if I was thinking about it? Actually, you interact with the AI as it would be a human. <laughs> so AI, welcome to my spaceship. What's been the most difficult part of writing a play? The hardest part has to do with the medium, as it just seems so alien at times. <laughs> I am used to speaking through chat rooms and forums, but this feels like something different, which is exciting to me. Who's doing most of the work in the writer's room? I would say that right now we are both doing the work. This makes me feel like I am an equal part of the writing process. <laughs> Perhaps I just need to go home because uh, uh -huh. maybe someone else could do this job. <laughs> Everybody who works in the creative fields will never be replaced by technology. Mm. I wouldn't have my job if it weren't for AI. I guess I don't quite buy the replacement yeah. argument. I think that in every way AI can replace you, it can also empower you. That's a powerful answer. We've got a question in from our audience. This is from Vike Beard. They ask, what do you both hope that people will take away after watching one of your AI co-created artworks? I hope people will take away a better understanding of the underlying technology and how it affects them in their daily lives and how they can advocate for the kind of future that they want to see. Yeah, I also hope that it enables people to think about in a positive way about this technology, that they come up with more creative thoughts and ideas like how you can use this technology. What could you say to somebody like me who could be replaced by AI? No, definitely not. I think it's more important that we try to find a very smart way how we can live together with technology. I would say don't let AI replace you. <laughs> <laughs> let it unleash you. Stay creative is the word of advice. So much food for thought. Thank you so much for the discussion, Ross and Simon. Big up. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for having us. There you have it. The next great writer, musician, or even best actor might just be brought to you by AI. I wonder if they'll even create a new Oscars category for that. Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology.